I remember back a few years ago when I had a waist. Oh, those were the good old days. Now other parts of my body have taken over. I've had 50 or more birthdays and that waist is not what it used to be. So I've developed a few little wardrobe tricks to help create the illusion of a waist. So if you're like me and you'd like to make it look like you have a little bit more of a waist than you do, I'm gonna share those with you today. Hi, I'm Dawn with Just Doing My Best. I'm so glad you're here. I'm here every week with a brand new video for women over 40 and women over 50 who just wanna look and feel our very best where we are right now. I hope that you will like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe. And I hope you'll find me on Facebook and Instagram at Just Doing My Best and come over there and say hi. So today we're talking about creating the illusion of a waste. We're not talking about camouflaging anything. That could be a whole different video. But by the time that we're done here, I hope that you'll have a few ideas, a few tips, things that you can feel really confident about doing to help you look like you have a little bit more of a waste than maybe you used to. Now, I got a whole lot more hip than I used to have in the 20s, in my 20s, that's for sure. But I got a whole lot less waste than I had too. So today we're gonna draw the attention to our waist and just make a little bit more of an hourglass. And we're gonna start with a sweater. Now, I'm gonna start with a belt on a sweater. And let me just say this, we could talk about belts on pants, but if you're like me, some days I could totally rock a belt. Some days I have, you know, you know, we've all we all have those really good days where you can put a belt on and feel really good. And there and then there are some days when I put a belt on and then stuff starts popping out in other places. And that's not a good day. So what we're gonna talk about is putting a belt on over what's going on over our pants instead of belting our pants. So let's start with belting this sweater. Now, you'll see with this sweater, I didn't make this belt on this sweater super tight. What I did was I made it so it's almost kind of hanging. And what that does is it kind of gives the illusion like I could barely keep my pants up. Oh, this belt is practically falling off of me. <laughs> So it's just giving the illusion that there is a waist here, okay? So that's my first tip is loosely put a belt on over your sweater or maybe a tunic top so that it just looks like it's bringing that waist in just a little bit. And like I said, you get bonus points if it's super loose and it just looks like you can barely hold it up with your hips. Okay, now, if you are having a really good day and you do wanna wear a belt, here is another tip for you. What you can do is take your sweater or your tunic and just take the very front of it, just the tip, and all you're gonna do is that half tuck or that um, French tuck, and what you're gonna do is just take the tip of it and just barely kind of tuck it in right behind that belt. You're not going all the way down, you're not tucking the whole sweater in, just where the belt buckle is, okay? And then once you do that, now all you're gonna do is kind of tuck that down around it. So you're not tucking in all the way around, okay? You're just tucking in just that little bitty, like maybe two or three fingers right above the belt, right above where the snap would be. And then you're just gonna pull kind of the rest of it down. And so in the back, it's kind of, you know, kind of covering up the bum a little bit, okay? And it's just drawing the eye in just a little bit to that belly button area. Again, kind of creating that illusion of the waist without being super skin tight. Because if you're like me, if I'm gonna tuck that in super skin tight, then I'm gonna have a little stuff just popping out. So this way, you're just pulling it out a little bit, okay? So you're still drawing the eye in 
but it's not tucked in super, super tight like we're used to when we tuck in our tops, okay? So now let's talk about tying a shirt in front. It's a fun look in the summertime to tie a little button down shirt over a tank top or something. And so what happens here is when you tie the front of your shirt, again, it draws the attention to that area right there. Here's the trick about tying a shirt in the front is first of all, make sure that bottom button is buttoned and you'll see I've got a little tank underneath here. But once you have that tied, give the sides a little bit of a tug. So you're kind of loosening it up a little bit. So the attention, will be drawn to the tie, okay? But if you go to reach, you're not giving away the farm, you're not super self-conscious, but it still looks like you've got a little bit of a waist because that's where the eye is gonna go. Remember, wherever the eye goes, that's where the attention is going to be. Wherever the little detail is, that's where the attention is going to be. So now it looks like I've got a little bit of a waist because I've kind of drawn attention to that, but it's not super tight, it's not super form-fitting. So if you saw my video on wearing a long cardigan or on wearing a kimono, you know I love to wear anything long. I just think it makes you look taller, it makes you look leaner. But one of the secrets to doing that is when you wear a long cardigan or a long kimono or something long like this, instead of wearing something flowy underneath to camouflage, which is what our tendency usually is, wear something a little bit more form-fitting. The cardigan is gonna kinda cover up a little bit, but as it moves, as you're walking, it's gonna open up a little bit, and what's gonna happen is you're gonna get that little peak of a waistline underneath there, creating that illusion of a little bit more of an hourglass figure underneath that long sweater. So for my last tip on helping us draw the attention in and create the illusion of a waist, what I want you to look for are what I call bonus items, bonus clothing. And what I mean by that is remember, where the attention is, is where your eye is gonna go. So this top right here is a really good example. It's one and done. They put a tie on the front of this top. So you could look for um, a sweater or a dress that has a self-tie belt. You could look for something that's got some sort of detail right in front that you can do. You don't have to think about it. You don't need anything extra. You don't need to do anything to it. It's already doing all the work for you. So hopefully I can link this top for you. If not, then you have the idea to look for something that's a bonus, I bonus item that already has done all the work for you. But anything that I do link, look below this video in the description and that's where all the links will be for any of the fun items that hopefully I can link for you or give you some really good ideas that will go with what we talked about today. So I hope this video was helpful. I hope you liked it. Please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe and go find me on Instagram and Facebook and say hi. I'd love to connect with you. For now, go out today and do your best and be blessed. Thank you.